Right, ladies and gentlemen, the Arena Empire has returned and today we are here to answer an important question. Was Mortal Kombat 11 really that bad? It has now been several months after MK1's release and I think today is the perfect time perhaps to take a look back at the old game. Everyone is judging it but now we have the perfect comparison. We have our current MK1 meta and today we decided, you know what? Let's host an MK11 tournament real quick. Fabs, what's popping? One time for the snowback, you know? <laughs> yes. What's popping, guys? I hope you guys are doing great. It's a nice Sunday out here. You know? <sighs> have, have a nice one. Fabs, it's going to be it, good. Uh... And it, I'm excited. Am I allowed to say that? Am I going to get roasted on oh, YouTube when I say, me I am excited? Um, I'm really excited to see how this is going to unfold because, like, We've only been on like MK1 for like a while and it's cool right. to do a little throwback. Also because we did uh, the finals yesterday for PS5. So let's take a little breather, you know, yep. see if everyone still got it and uh, is, see what changed. That is that is a great point because I think um, it is always the same. It, ha it has always been the same with NRS games. You know, whenever there is a current release, people start getting a little bit fed up with the game. And then the new game drops and people start to say, wait, maybe it wasn't that bad back in the days and i'm very very interested especially in the um, opinion from our youtube side as well guys let us know mm -hmm. in the comments mk11 versus mk1 now after several months like of it? competitive gameplay how do you think the old game holds up maybe do you even like the old game more now after seeing how mk1 turned out i'm curious but what i can say fabs is i didn't expect this bracket to be that insane because the thing is it started as a fun tournament and it literally turned into a battle of champion. Guys, take a look at this bracket. It is unbelievable that we have those names in today's top eight. Just to name a few. Rotha, gonna be here tonight. Val, Makuran, Arena Champion, Mr. Black and Kani Mani. And then at the bottom over there, perhaps, the double champion showdown. Daniel versus Desordid. Guys, it feels like I'm young again. You know, it feels like coming back home, Fabs. Something that people say a lot is that MK11's gameplay is like more uh, tamed. You know, it's more calm. You know, like it's more like you can take your time on this game. And MK1 is just chaos, but 11 is more tame and cool. But this game has really bad defensive options, I would say that. Oh my god, you know the inputs. Oh, oh he knows it too. This looks so different. My eyes. Oh, that was oh the away. accidental breakaway! Oh, we have them. <laughs> the accidental breakaway! Oh. I can't believe MK11 has more viewers than MK. Oh, I love this. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, trying to see what's going on. Trying to shimmy. We got flaws blocks in this game. If I see you do a, nup a reversal up two on block. I might have to like after years of not playing this. We got it. We actually got this. Bro, oh, come! Match up! Match up! The only game this guy's got at. He, he was waiting for the time. He was waiting for his time. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's how it is. It's how it is. Unbreakable. Uh, and, and, wait, is this, M is this MK1 type damage? Got the replay there, chilling. The numbers in this game were really funny. Oh. I'm expendable. Oh. My reaction time is so ass shit. But wait, let me just warm up a little bit. Fight. Oh, my. Okay, okay, we got those spears. 8% spear, by the way. He needs it. When Shao had projectiles, it's a good time. Oh, we got... Oh. He dropped it. He dropped it. Is he trying to EX with R2? And Subby saying, how do people remember Rambo's combos? This is Rotor. He played Rambo for like three years. Of course he doesn't remember what Rambo does. Of course he will know. Really under the 4-2. Oh god, the military stands. Of all people you to play against, you choose Rotor, which is like the matchup knowledge character. Oh! Rotor, mercy that! He asked him mercy. He asked him mercy. Oh, I hate oh. this kid. Oh, no. He is making fun of me, chat. This, this kid. This kid. This kid, man. This kid. Wins. 
Okay, of course, that was just my warm-up game. Fun fact, what you guys don't see in the camera feed right now, I actually still have my steering wheel plugged in. You guys know. Let me, let me grab the controller, Fabs, you know. Let's get serious. We can't let Rother get away with that. Okay, I have one more life. Rotha up, one. Oh, versus the arena team, which is, of course, Tigris. And do, should I go Kotal, Fabs? What do you think? Should I bring the Broker? Are you ready for that? For the four two? The big swings? Oh, chat. My, my, my Kotal is kind of nasty. I'm not even kidding here. Main character, thank you so much for the resub. Sola in the chat is saying, Rips just called Serena, what are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm, I'm just seeing how life is with no cameos now. I'm just like remembering how everything Fire. looks. Watch this. Oh shit. Oh, um, we're watching, we're watching, we're watching, we're watching. Oh, those spears, I, I, I just remember like, the, the arrows from Bramble, how much damage you do. Oh, the breaker. Oh, no, breaker, break away. Life is so difficult. I cannot wait to see the Zarda do 4 2 to Fatal. He has to actually. He has to do it. This is boss blocking. Look, the what? How can you still do this? Oh, Chad. Oh, he, he is what? not ready for the cold. He is not. Rotha is shivering right now. How is, this, how is this guy MK 11 ing so well right now? I feel like this whole time where we were playing MK1, Rips was labbing MK 11 the whole time. Nice follow block, bro. Shit. <laughs> this is actually your game. They should have made MK1 a legacy game to MK11, bro. It would have been so cool. Just with cameos, though. Ooh. Reexa. Ooh. Chill, chill. Mid command grab 18%. Why not? With damage buff. Oh, the whiff punish. Looking for the break. Oh, I didn't expect that, but I completely forgot about the KBs, chat. I can't do this. We have question blows again. Oh! 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 Big whip because the breakaway makes. Imagine breaking and making your opponent just whip the whole string and you wake up and punish them. We need that. Duck. Oh! 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 Yo, Katanikon, thank you for the sub, my brother. Good job yesterday. You played amazing and the confirm into the low trap. Rother up. Round. No, wait. Fire. Equalize. Final round. Yeah. Rip needs to get this, by the way. Yeah, you, you, like, you can drop this. Thing. No pressure, though. Looking for the back dash with punishment. Ooh. Oh, I didn't get that gun from shit. There's no up lock in this game. There's no up lock. There's no up lock here. It's really common if MK11 has more people on Steam than MK1 because MK1, uh, most of MK11's player base right now should be on PC because the game plays better on PC. Netcode wise. Oh, you have interactables again as well. Ooh. And if you have to tell how, how much slower and like, um, like tamed, tamed this game is. Well, so stop running away. Am I seeing MK11? Yes, it is MK11. Rother doing the Rother right now. Oh, that. Wait, what is the requirement for that question blow? Just not jump? Did you get that? What? 36 is gonna throw! Yeah. Like this. 36 is gonna throw. Rother, you stay back here! Wait, I get a mercy! You have to kill him. 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 Turn to oh. blow the smoke, Fabs. I tried it! No! no. Oh! <laughs> I, I did my best. Should I try to bait him? Rotha up 2 0, and that means we officially unlock Tigris. Maybe our K Queen can somehow bring this back. Tigris, you got this. You got this. And I'm already seeing the people talk about the, the balancing in this game. Fujin, Cetrion, Raiden, Jackie, Coral, Jade, and Sub are way more brain dead than Sly Gaskaball. Nah, Sly Gaskaball, it's, 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 I don't know how to even play against Sly Gaskaball. She was just 
play a one type character. Thunder, thank All you right. so much. Tiger and Chad, really even though this is, you know, starting like pretty slow pace, Tigers and I, of course, we are just here for the fun. This is actually a super, super insane yeah. racket faps filled it's with so literal slowly. arena champions. Later on, it's going to be very, very interesting to see how good are these guys still at the game while playing MK1 for so many months. We have Connie, which was pretty much considered like one of the best uh, MK11 players near the Ever. end, right? Yes. Uh, Desarted as well. Insane. Makaran as well. Sweaty as hell. Wait, wow. bro, I can't believe Makaran actually what? signed up for this. This it's, is so funny. It's going to be I great. Scarlet. And, and I love that our community supports that like crazy. Vodka, thank you so much for the 25 euro donation. Rotha right now looking more than confident. Great to see that Rambo back. Uh, these, I know these, these guys were waiting for this moment, bro. I heard like whenever they did, these guys met up offline, they were playing MK11 instead of MK1 at UFA. So this is jail, all of them. Rotha throwing in that Camara very, very hard to react to, especially for me, I gotta say that. And th the animation looks kind of. I get shimmied by this bad boy every single time, Fabs. Oh, this game uh, has real auto shimmies, so yeah. MK1 auto shimmies are kind of more different they're not real online and it depends on the ping and on how, how the rollback is working you know but this game has like real auto shimmies though in pc it might be different look at rotha is just crawling across the screen that oh rambo is God. making fun of us tigris clipped him with the slide the flaw oh, the matchup knowledge Rotha, oh, I missed the flawless block mechanic. I gotta say that, Fabs. I up think three, a, yeah, up three. From a viewer perspective, it just added another layer to the game. It is just fun to watch. It looks flashy, you know. I like that mechanic. I wish we had up three back. Not up two, but at least up three. Because a lot of situations, I mean, up three would be really good against like a storm cell, you know, on MK1, something like that. Not up two. Up two seems kind of messed up. Launching someone for trying to take your turn uh, on minus seven, I don't like that. And right now, oh, the breakaway from Tigris that didn't look intentional at all. And now we are on life support. Rotha, flawless lock, back throw, right into the brute. It's crazy that um the numbers, like the, the HUD, right? The heads up display in MK1 is so much better. Like the numbers, the positioning of all the, uh, the, the, the elements and whatever, much better. This game seems too much on the screen when it comes to letters and visuals. That is true, but perhaps just remember how old that game actually is, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah few years has passed since release and i, I still gotta think from a graphical standpoint the game looks still amazing lisa oh, yeah. over there in the chat thank you so much for the four euro donation for the players and guys the reason the names are on the wrong side right now is we are hosting the pc version of the game right now and um since we're playing with two people it is not forever king and i can't really tap out of the game um mk11 has a few bugs on pc that means i might crash this entire thing when i tap out and control the overlay so we have to live with this one Rotha right now trying to sweep his way to victory by the reef from Tigress. Yes, KB, get KB, 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 KB. Yeah, I mean, I feel like a, a good mix of this game and MK1 would have been the perfect sweet spot, you know? I think the fusion of MK11 and MK1 would be would be insane. Like, like literally, yeah, both, yeah. both games have strength. Of I definitely course. think that both games lack good defensive options. This game had defensive options, but not enough. And MK1, same situation. Not enough defensive options, even though cameos are a thing. You know? Nice to see all the, all, the, all, all the carried players, you know, back into this, like, for certain, like, the started Sub-Zero. <laughs> I'm joking, but still, everyone is so hyped to see this again. I'm, it's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm very interested to see who is gonna win this tournament at the end of the day, yeah, especially seeing too. the sign up, seeing all these arena champions return for this standalone top A tourney. It's gonna be good. Kalimani disarded, Valis in Yamakuran. Oh boy. KB from One Tigris. One thing I don't like about this game though, the rolls. The roll, rolling in this game is just so annoying, man. I think in general, the wake up options in MK1 were one of the most controversial. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't even controversial. Everyone hated it because it is just, um, it always favors the knockdown player. You know, it, uh, it is weird. It, uh, this game, this game, this game had something. 
Interactables are cool though. I wish he had them back. But you know what? Whatever it is. But no Tigers trying to somehow stay alive in this. But with Rotha, of course, we have the best Rambo player in the entire world. Back in this tournament, good throw tech. Get off me. Ooh. I definitely, I'm one of the few people that I'm not going to go say, oh, I missed this game so much. No, I didn't really. I played Cassie. That was not, life was not good as Cassie. People that like this game are like Setrium players. Wait, is that, is that all unbreakable? Oh my God. People that like this game is like Setrium players, you know, Fusion players. Oh, she killed it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he was a little bit too confident over there. And Tigris. 4-1-3 slide, Fatal Blow. Nice to see that in action again. Let's Just call me Max. Thank you so much for the Prime subscription. I appreciate you. Welcome. Fight. Full string, super punishable on block. If I remember correctly, minus 30 or something. If Rambo oh, wow. finished that string. I don't remember the frame data for this. Like, I feel like MK1's frame data just completely overwritten on my brain. But yeah, that thing that he launches is pretty minus, actually. You can maybe punish with a Fatal Blow with some characters, actually. Okay, also, please. crushing blows in this game. You can do interactables. Yeah, this is why I like interactables. I like interactables that reward your combo potential. That was good. Rotha. Tigers and I, we have to be honest, we didn't stand a chance at all. Just too much <laughs> talent there on the screen. Rotha takes it right into the fatal. Well, why is he fatally? <laughs> why is he fatally hurt? Oh, man. But yeah, people say they hate interactables. I like interactables that the only purpose are extending your combos. I don't like interactables that break neutral. That was kind of annoying. I don't like that. We needed like more, like, you know how wall breaks in some games have like stage floors and stage breaks? That's cool. I like that, but not neutral breaking interactables, you know? But you know what? Whatever. Pretty toxic, Fatal, you know, from this man. You know, all, all good. So, chat, but that was it for an appetizer, you know, a little fun showdown in the beginning. Now it's getting serious because now we are literally inviting true arena champions into this bracket prize pool on the line as well crowdfunded tournament today lisa vodka runner adams thank you so much for contributing to it coming up next Makuran versus val is it time to bring back that scarlet fabs Oh, oh <laughs> no, Val, oh, stop. No, Val, get out. The arm. Not like this. Not that after four how... months of MK1, this man starts the round like that. That was the perfect way to summarize MK11, you know? You have up twos on strings, and then you have uh, breakaway breaks, you know? Armor breakers. But you don't have dedicated armor breakers in MK1, which is surprising. Like, a game that has an armored launcher doesn't have armor breakers? Like, what's going on? It's just, it's very like, polarizing. If these games have like a legacy blend, did he just think that his stream was gonna come? Like, no, 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 Save him. Save oh, but, him. Save but right him. now, Markuran doesn't look impressed, even though Val had such a flashy start in the beginning. Markuran steamrolling through him in this first round. Someone tell Markuran that about his back two, the overhead back two. Someone tell him about it. That's a Josh. Josh also plays solid as well. Josh is one of the people that loves MK11, you know? He loves that game, this game. Oh, that's unbreakable 28%. Yes, he needs it. The good old boiling point. There's the flawless block. Macron try to bait that parry just in case the opponent's up twos. That is a mind game. Scarlet has one of the fastest, a pretty fast parry in the game. I think only Xiao and Kotal can literally up two through that parry attempt because they're up two so quick. Yeah, uh, well, one of the fastest parries in NRS game history, you know? I mean, probably Tani and Batman have like really strong parries as well. Uh, but yeah, Scarlet is up there, definitely. Looking for the... Looking for the... Oh, this is tough. But also, if we're looking for the back too, but Markuran right now ready for everything. Val on life support. Yeah, I miss... Why didn't they bring Scarlet into MK1? This is so funny. He gave us the tower. Good. Right. That's safe. <laughs> oh, he's caught him pressing again. 
Hey, Ma Macron made the read. Val has breaker and he tried to break it. No, Ma Macron didn't EX that the thing. He forgot Wait, really? to try to EX. He tried to EX. Oh, he missed the punish on the overhead as well. I think Macron tried to EX with R2. I'm not gonna lie. Because he did the move, the the, 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 the blood splatter, but no EX. So. <laughs> Speaking of that, you guys know Desarted couldn't EX moves in MK1 for like a month straight. He couldn't EX the move. I remember that, yes. Beautiful. And for everyone out there who potentially just tuned in, guys, yes, you're seeing this right. This is an MK11 tournament. But believe me when I say this shit is stacked as hell. Kanimani, Daniel, Desarted, Mr. Black, Marco Ranval, all these guys return for this tourney, and Rotha is already sitting in semi finals. Fast, this is gonna be good. I'm happy to be here today. Oh, interesting trade, and Val tried to convert even with that down one attempt. Punishable. Yes, sir. Guys, can we not discuss tier lists in MK11? Actually, <laughs> funny enough. I'm surprised by our live chat as well, Fabs. Being honest, these guys are discussing like there is no tomorrow, guys. What is that? Locked in, bro. They're so locked in. Oh, I forgot about that forward two, bro. Her forward two, that full screen overhead is whatever. She needs it. She needs it. Where is it forward one? I don't remember. Uh, I do agree that this game's combo potential is so weak. Probably one it of the biggest weaknesses yes. of this game. Fart. Yeah, combo potential in this game is beyond saving, really. And you can say, oh, because cameos in the game make every... No, but characters in the MK1 have, like, needless launchers, and just every character has launchers. But I nearly forgot about that big scream KV in MK11. Val right now looking solid, even though Makoran won that first round pretty convincingly. Right now, Val in the driver's seat. Get some HP back. Interesting hitbox. Cancel back dash. Val can play it lame. Can play it smart. Finish her. Oh, that poke as well. Double low poke. Val closing it out. Yeah, down for it, man. Do you miss how in this game? You can anti with pokes. Remember I that? definitely do, yes. We, we see it a few times in MK1 as well. Kitana Khan, perfect example of it, right? I think Faisal does it as well, with Kitana actually as a character. But in MK11, it is way more prominent, I would say. True. Look at this chat prediction, Fabs. 97% on Makoran. I think people are sleeping on Val a little bit. This dude is a sweat. Val was like, uh, remember pro competition East? Val was cooking. Val was cooking hard on, on uh, pro comp East back in this game. Also ESL, I'm pretty sure it was ESL as well. Round one, so, not someone to sleep on really. Oh, the flows. That's minus 12, no punish, interesting. Don't ask me how I remember that minus 12. Oh, Immediate break up from Makoran. Get shamed by the forward four. Good shot hop. Over low stars. We have Val ready for the punish after the teleport. He knows to play with the frame data in this game. He knows. He remembers all his, like, defensive hours. How much time do you guys have in this game? That's going to kill, isn't it? Yeah, that's going to kill. I had 1800 hours in this game, so 1000 hours and 800 hours to pass it. Fabs, my stupid ass was just about to say, why doesn't he use Fatal Blow? I, I just forgot yeah. that there's no startup frame, you know, in MK11, and that was the startup. Oh, chat, I'm getting too old here. Marco got a life support, Kenny Clutcher, plus frames, Val being patient, sitting there like a freaking turtle. Forward throw. This Back might you? go south and wake up interactable. Ooh. Round two, fight. 
Dude, what, what was that? What, what was that? Duck OS? Guys, I, I like interactables if they like don't break neutral, you know? Interactables are fun if they're not breaking neutral. And I, I I don't think people are ready for that conversation, but you know what? It, it's to my case. It adds more depth. Wait, was Sindel in this game on base release or was she DLC? I don't remember. Uh, she was, was DLC, uh, combat pack one. Oh my god. Why was she not Sindel DLC? <laughs> <laughs> That's so crazy to me. Can we talk about how close this match right now is? Overall, Val in the lead, Makuran. Wake up, up three. Again, we're abusing that four, uh, standing four force frame. No gap in this, by the way. There you go, finds it down four. Yeah, the, the fact that some, some streams in this game just have no gap, plus six or plus four, no gap. Starts with a high, though, but still pretty crazy. Fatal Law on deck, Makuran side on life support. There it is, that's what he needed. Keeps it unbreakable. Boiling point, amplify, we have the round. Final round, fight. Oh, but they got those. The good old Banshee cancel combos. The block on the forward too, but cancel right into the throw. KB was loaded. Yes, we for forgot about those as well. Oh, that's good trade. The Banshee scream. Oh, immediate reaction. What are these guys on? That is the what second is time that Val is able to punish that teleport on reaction, literally. Low poke, Val on match point. Oh, this game is, 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 is doing things to me again, you know. Fabs, why are these guys still that good? Like, I expected to see some super rusty gameplay from these guys. But <laughs> muscle memory doesn't leave your body, you know, it's just how it is. Who is going to meet the boy Rotha in the semi-finals? Is it Val or is it Makuran? Right now, 2-1 lead. Sindel. And I go by Zell in the chat is saying, it's good to see a good MK throwback. This should be a thing every now and then. I like the idea as well. Um, a lot of people in the Discord actually asked for that if, since weeks um, for another potential Scott. standalone MK11 tournament. And the feedback was kind of great, Fab. So we might bring another PS5 version someday. I hope so. I really do hope so. Noob in the chat is saying, I am watching this shit. The thing is, I in the title, I actually even put it, guys. Don't watch this if you don't want. Yeah, like nobody's forcing you. I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's someone else. There's the other things happening. You <laughs> I know? literally put it in the title for everyone out there. Don't tune in. Round one, fight. MK11. I'm still baffled that... I'm, I'm, I'm watching Makaran and Val play MK11 right now, 2024, February. Yes, and even a quite <laughs> good chunk of money as well. I mean, one top eight single elimination, close to 100 bucks in the prize pool, thanks to this community. That's not too shabby, Fabs. Oh. Yes, and Sindel still zones really well in this game. I think he always zones well in every MK game where we got the scream. The desperate housewife, Cinder, screaming in your face, and Val taking another round. Not yet 42%, but that 4 4 is gonna seal the deal. Makuran in trouble. Round two, fight. Oh, tries to do another uh, stream over there. I think if he had the crushing blow available, so crushing blows in this game, since the cutscene has priority over your move, you win every trade because of the crushing blow. Which is some, a really weird mechanic, but you know what? I, I respect that. That was a, a very, very quick air to air snipe from Makuran. Great awareness, good reaction time. No flawless spot from people saying how much they miss this game. I, this I have one request for you. You know what it is, right? Forward to fatal. Anyway. <laughs> Makuran still here going crazy. Plus, babes. Locking him down still. Oof. 
the Dark Horse. Dark Horse. We see the Dead. same thing in MK1 as well. That's gonna do it. Makuran still showing signs of life. One round away from the first game five of this tournament. Restand. Still pressure. Over in this yes. time, Makuran not able to cover his dome in time. You don't react to that. You don't react to that forward two man or forward one, whatever it's called. Ooh, he missed time his media. He's gonna eat like forty percent. Scarlet's fatal blow in this game was something. It was something. It's like what 40? 40? One of the most damaging fatals in the entire game. Forty-one percent, just like that. But Val found that magic opening. And Makuran already had enough. We get the immediate disconnect <laughs> in front of our eyes. GG's. He's not sitting through all that. But GG's to both here. Makuran, good seeing you back. Go back to uh, MK. Yeah, exactly. Drop the buff Scarlet and then just go back to MK1, you know? I see my boy Tento Love in the chat. It. Everyone out there, welcome to our throwback MK11 tournament. Phenomenal bracket on the line. I can't wait to see who is going to win this. Coming up next, we have Kani Mani. One of the most talked players in our EU scene in the MK11 days. Was considered the strongest player we actually have. Mentioning alongside the greatest ninja killer, Sonic Fox. This is going to be insane. Versus Mr. Black, that means Middle East is represented here in this bracket as well. And it Goat. might see that Mr. Black brings the... Shao. Let's see how Kanimani approaches this matchup. We see the spacing. We see the experience this kid has in this game. That's where it all started for Kanimani. He tried to EX the charging health spawn with R2 again. Like, a lot of people are not EXing their moves anymore. They just forgot about it, bruh. <laughs> We're up blocking jump it. Yeah, up blocking jump is in this game. Made him minus. And you can uh press that after or buffer after uh you got floss block. It's really cool. It, like this is what I'm saying, man. How the MK11 had a lot of really cool features added in the end. And then MK1 comes out missing those features. Like you would think it would just help the lifetime of the game that's dead. Let's go. But yeah. I don't know why. As expected, Kanimani's starting very, very strong. Oh yeah, for sure. Poke special. One of the one of the good poke specials in this game is that, is that little move. Mr. Blake trying to parry in time to charge up to get that bam, uh, damage buff going. But Kani too quick. What a conversion! But that charge didn't work out at all. Too slow. No hit confirmed. Kani Money just holding north. Ooh, be careful. 3-4, not connect the second hit. This game had a lot of whipping issues as well, yeah? As, not, I just remembered it. With the first hit of your string connects, no. second one whips. Oh, was that a mercy? Kanimani is too confident. Try to bait that, bait that flawless block. We saw empty jump down too. You can get so much reward for that if the opponent tries to flawless block. Also, you can't punish folks in this game. Oh, up to baby. Folks in this game are all safe on block. So. There we go. Low, the low ground spear, whatever you call it. That move is demonic. So much pushback as well. Kanimani taking the lead in this set. 89% of the community believe that Kanimani is going to win this. I know a lot of people even think that he's going to win this entire bracket. But it's not going to be easy at all. Pretty, pretty stacked. Coming up next, Desarded versus Daniel. That means two more arena champions entering the stage tonight. Spark. Total car. Hourglass. 
Even though I, I see the, the negative comments in the, the chat, I, I gotta say, I enjoy it. We, we don't really have, like, top-tier characters so far in this bracket. Jackie, of course, all these guys. I oh, think they're this waiting. is entertaining they're to watch so far. Waiting. They're waiting. Just, just wait until you see the usual suspects pull through in the, in the second half. <laughs> but sure, though, this game was pretty much remembered just all about um, Jackie, Cetrion, Fujin, Cabal... You know, I can't name any more suspects, but yo, th those were pretty, pretty. I remember Aaron Black in year one was disgusting. Cassie, Aaron Black, year one MK, 11, for Sony as well. Oh, do you remember that good old OG fatal blow from Aaron? Like a six frame startup no. or something. And it set you the hell. It was an eight frame or something like that. Yeah, I, mean, I think eight or nine frames, something like that. And it will send you all the way back to hell, bro. Like what, what the hell are they smoking? Oh, Jack's fatal blow was a mid, seven frame mid, or nine frame advancing mid, like almost, almost full screen. Didn't even walk back on him though. Like what the? This game, was, this game was too funny, man. You would whip your poke from like half screen. Jack's fatal blow, boom. <laughs> Kanimani spawn back against the wall. You know what that means, Fabs. Potential KB. There it is, but good awareness from Mr. Black. Kanimani try. It looked like a flawless block attempt. Even. Right throw. We want the corner position. But funny enough, this is the game that I had the most competitive experience on. I I, I remember so many players from EU, like and what they played specifically. Ooh, that's gonna just chip. Yeah, chip, chip, chip. You can't floss block your life away here. Floss blocking in this game, you can't just floss block. You can do an MK MK1. Yeah, MK1 and just spam R2 and get the floss block in the middle of the string. In this game, you can't really do it. You can't really do it. And Rhino in the chat dropping a ten. Euro donation saying thanks to the casting crew for the efforts. Rhino, we thank you for supporting the players tonight, for giving them a little reason to play this tournament. Beautiful stuff that you guys always step up for them and always give them that chance to, you know, to up that that pocket money. Fans. Today in MK11. Unbelievable. Video games yo in the chat as well. Welcome, brother. Back to the match we go. Kani Mani on match point. The hourglass. Yeah, um, where is Raiden and Kano? What the hell? <laughs> Where's Raiden and Kano, guys? <laughs> Mr. Black is Scarlet Switch. There it is. That, that is one of Mr. Black's OG characters, by the way, even though we're seeing it right now for the first time. His Scarlet was insanely good. Mr. Black and Mark Run back then considered one of the strongest Scarlet players in MK11. True, 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 true. And some people in the chat time. are saying, this makes me want to play this game again. That is beautiful stuff. That is one of the biggest compliments we can get here. Good up three from Kani. Mr. Black tried to counter flawless block, but it got baited. Kani Mani, beautiful awareness. You're a waste of my powers. Round this game became a mess when characters started having like unbreakable damage over others. And that oh, was a good boy. punish. Everything going south right now. Kani Mani feeding everything. 44 off of projectile parry is crazy. People say this game was overhated as hell. I, I think this game deserved the hate it got for the reasons they got the hate for you. Be honest. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Kani Mani speedrun another mercy. This kid is too confident, Fabs. No. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Oh, by the hit. Kani right, Mani dash it in the finish screen, and I think we might see. Oh, wait, it is not a fatal. We have oh, friendships we in MK11. There it is. And we have the good old graphic glitch on the PC version as well. <laughs> no, this is insane, Fabs. Spawn best. shining as bright as my fresh shaved forehead. This is beautiful. Welcome everyone to our MK11 throwback event. Kanimani now in semi-finals. 
and said, are you ready for the last match in round number one? It is time for the double champion duo. Disordered versus Daniel. This honestly feels like coming back home. Uh, this is going to be like, I think the, the, the first top tier head to head we're going to see here. Because, uh, oof. Eight competitive characters in MK1 and one of the most played characters back then in our MK11 events. Sub Zero, he is back, the mix machine. He gave careers to people. Good start, back two. In my opinion, still the strongest single button in MK11. Fujin's back two, top one. Oh, yeah, that button did everything. Brownie Pounder in the chat, resubbed with that tier 3 saying, Did we hit that partner plus and when do we get the NRS contract? Brownie, I think we hit it. I think we need to wait for the final numbers at the end of the month because some people um, cancel or whatsoever. But I think we made it. Thank you guys so much. Oh, we can punish with slide as well. Zero was so strong in this game, man. He was one of the best punishers. One, two, don't forget about that stagger. Zero on block. His Every ice single ball poke. In this game was... You remember when the big patch dropped and they buffed the hit advantage from pokes? That means yeah. Sub-Zero getting a true 50-50 after every down four whatsoever. Yeah, and also, um, his ice ball in this game is so much more useful than the ice ball in NK1. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> they yes, sort of oh. spec chat. <laughs> no. He's so happy. This, this, this guy is so happy. He is so excited to do it. Like, uh, 45% off of that as well. I know that we don't have Disordered's webcam right now, but I can tell you he is smiling like there's no tomorrow. He is so happy that we're bringing this event. Sliding in those DMs, immediate breaker, another opening. Daniel Gastron, back three. We go Opti, we go Opti. Oh, we got the Opti, I'm the most slide meterless. So oh, he still got it, he still got it. That could have been a nice ball. Fun is Little input error, there's a forward four, plus on block again. Daniel has to hold, not getting shimmy. Somehow got this conversion, man. What is this wake up jump from He tried to do an up three, he tried to do an up three, but got that instead. Maybe, we, I don't know, I actually don't know. This is just too much, too much, too much going on here in my eyes. I honestly can't believe that we are hosting this tournament. Me neither. Really, me neither. This is where they feel comfortable, you know? Our players, the the, the, the people that bring the entertainment, you know, are here. But you know what makes me kind of proud, Fabs? Like, honestly, that we are able to just announce an MK11 event during the day, in the evening, so many people sign up for this actually, and we're sitting here with close to 500 people. People in the chat are telling us that right now the MK11 category has more viewers than MK1 because we are streaming this tournament. You guys are insane. <laughs> this is why Twitch numbers are, uh, you shouldn't take them too seriously, chat. Sometimes, you know, it depends on who's streaming and what, who's doing what, you know? Round one, fight. Let's go. Three, let me slide in those DMs. Let me talk to you, baby. The trade combo, yes, yes. The ice ball was, I, I remember how good the ice ball was in this game and I hated it. Oh, we completely hey, forgot uh, uh, talking about that. Sub-Zero, the best counter zoner in MK11 as well. That ice yeah. ball. The ice ball in this game was stupidly good. Meet this ice ball, and then the X ice ball is even better, man. I think I'm just saying we need more MK11 tournaments. Oh, man. <laughs> this is gonna be a thing now. We're like five months into the game, and we're doing throwbacks already. Or six. I don't even know how long it's been since MK11 came out. Hey, Pips, you know what? Oh, that is a beautiful no. pickup from Daniel. You know what oh, I just I realized, Chet? Yeah. Yes, when crossplay drops, you know, we have the capacity, uh, capacity of running two leagues back to back. What about bringing uh, an MK11 league back? I'm the kidding, cross Chad. League I'm kidding. MK1. Cross play, oh, this guy's frozen in the air. Crossplay league and MK1 and then MK11 league. Uh, that would no, be like a one-time special only. Let them, let them ask for it for two more months. Let them ask for it. They, they better like do like a, like a, a petition or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should do a thousand sign-ups. To make MK11 League happen. Poke back dashes. Oh man. 
But Daniel tries to get on the board. Dissolved it back on his favorite character. He told us how much he missed that forward too. He missed being carried. I love it as hard, but that, that button needs to... That button online might have been the biggest robbery ever. Oh, and throw KBs. Yes, yes, yes. Random slide in neutral. You can never count Sub Zero out in MK11. This man, and this is how oh. it all starts, chat. He has to break away. He has to break away. Oh, no, he did up now, break away. Okay, 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 okay. There we go. Two obvious, two obvious, two obvious. Kill that fraud. Kill that fraud right now. He tried to go for it, man. But we know that Daniel, he was shivering there for a split second. Good punish. Ooh. KB loaded after three slides. One of the biggest strengths of Sub-Zero as well because he literally loads his KB with his BNB combos. Yeah. Pretty big strength in MK11. He needs the game. And it's, 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 he was, he was a really good MK11 character, Sub-Zero. Oh. Trade. All these daggers. Good jump in, but oh. a flawless block up to from Daniel. 25% damage for that is also pretty cool. Fujin had like meterless good damage off of uh, up dudes. Ooh. Needs to take one more health. There and the we wind go. push KB is gonna do it. Daniel tying this entire match up. The two arena champions. Head to head. Super, super well matched. I like it. He's already saying Ford 2 didn't catch the jump. Yes, he, he he wants that button to carry here even more. Can't believe it. Cannot believe it. Perhaps the, the thing is, I would literally pay money that I can see the face of every single person who randomly tunes in here to our channel and sees yep. that it's MK11. <laughs> Welcome, guys. Oh, wow. The arena's live. Let me see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I seeing Sub-Zero on the screen? Imagine. Oh, my God. Desarted and Daniel are playing. Let me tune in into your... Wow. What is it? Not Vader. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you had a great stream. Let's see who's going to take this. As long as everyone's having fun. That's all that matters. Well, that interactive was really good over there. People make sure to use it all the time. Reaping ice. Can you call Striker after Fatal Blow? <laughs> Wake up Fatal Blow into Striker, imagine. Daniel, does he have the downloads ready? Even though I'm not even sure if it's possible to download Sub Zero in MK11 no. because this character is so dangerous. Another shimmy. Insane decision making so far from Daniel in this matchup. Good adaptations after round number one. I remember when I got this game on release and I was like, wow, wow, phenomenal, amazing. Then then I started getting cooked by all these crazy uh, <laughs> situations and everything's going down the hill. The Cassie. I, I do miss Cassie though. I, I, I hope you do this with MK1 because I, I want to play Cassie again. That's punishable. Yes, sir. Oh, nice. Back to punish. He's going after him. Oh. Also, the beautiful fourth throw in this game, so much OK. Perhaps I have no idea who is going to win this. Look how close this match is. And I'm, I say it again, very, very impressed by the way these guys are still able to play this game on the highest level. Oh, catching him jumping back with that back too. Fujin was just like a uh, war criminal character, man. Back three. Do we see the KBs? They started slowly loading it. There it is. After seven hits, right? If I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. Is it eight or seven hit combo? Like it's KBs. Fall to creeping guys. Safe mix, boys. We almost clipped them with that forward too. But one more chance at life. No. There we go. That's not this started. He is feeling himself. Forward oh, wait. two. Wait, dropped it. No follow up. Daniel, back throw. 
fighting for the corner position. Fatal loaded. This might be dangerous for the sorted. No, oh, he pressed yes. on block. Because folks in this game are like minus five, minus four, no? They're not minus seven or minus eight, you know, like in the other games. You can like low key press, I guess, after you can focus. <laughs> Disordered with the down confidence. Evo champ disordered. I just realized <laughs> this guy won Evo Europe. The last match in round number one, that's what we are watching right now. After this, only three remaining sets. Rotha versus Val, and of course, Kanimani is waiting for the winner of this showdown right now. Sub Zero Fujin Shaolin Trap Dungeon. We haven't seen a game five so far. Round one, fight. Maybe we'll see out. Maybe we'll see out. The oh, we still got those flawless blocks on the creeping eyes. They started try to go for the interactable. I saw the startup animation, but Daniel was ready. Flawless block nope. again. Don't jump on me. Switch sides, like that, we're back. Yeah, but this, this, this game's combos were so little. Like, I'm, I'm seeing at most, like, like a, the combos in this game are so, so quick. We got cutscene combos in MKE. One, <laughs> there we go. We see all these T-Rex from this side. Daniel is getting mixed in front of 440. Up, knock down. I cannot believe what I'm watching right now. This is beautiful. I mean, people prefer quick combos, we prefer fast combos. I mean, different games have different combo options, you know. If you compare it to other fighters, it's just how it is. It's all, it's all, it's all. It's all different. More forward twos. And now, after they started implemented that strike throw on top of the 50 50 mix, you can see Daniel, he's trying to guess for his life, but it is so hard. Look at it. More. Oh, he's so plus as low. Delayed timing. Is it down two? <laughs> Why did he down two there? Go for the brutal, baby. Baldi slide, quick recovery. Six frame down one, doing the job. Daniel out of the tournament. I just realized it was six frames. It's down one and six frames. <laughs> Daniel is mad at the chat saying this dude is carried as hell. Febs, what are we doing with this tournament? For everyone who just tuned in, yes, you are seeing this right. MK11 throwback. And this community is so crazy that they even decided, you know what? We are going to spend a little bit of pocket change for these players. And that is actually quite a decent number here. Close to 100 euro. Right now, 79% crushed. Thank you guys so much for supporting the players. And coming up next, Rotha versus Val. The best Rambo in the entire world. The only Rambo in the entire world. You tell me, Fabs. And nobody knew how to deal with with like with the low stance Fart. thingy. Nobody knew the crawl. Nobody knew except for Vial, of course. Vial. I remember back then we hosted an EU versus NA tournament. I think a seven versus seven or something. I think Tweedy and all these guys were playing, and Rotha. He literally cooked eighty percent of them yeah. because no one of them was ready for that Rambo. They didn't have any matchup experience yeah. because in NA no one plays Rambo like Rotha did. It was actually, this is probably one of the most, like, scary characters in, in the game because, like, no matchup knowledge, but he will forever be on his low tier. But they don't know about the, the, the Rotor experiment, you know, the Rotor incident. So let's say Tweedy is still the goat gear. Is Tweedy played back then as well in our team events? I think Tweedy lost oh. two times in two different events to Makoran. Tweedy was one of the most active players ever. Yeah, Tweedy, <laughs> insane years. Oh man, Tweety was so active in MK11. 
Oh, oh, no surge rate really active. Oh, no fast block there. That's really negative. Yes. Those arrows really active. You gotta have a quick reaction. You can just do it again. And you can mix them up by doing one, two, or three. Fatal blow. Both sides. What is it gonna be? Rotha. I think he's trying to load that grab KB. Just playing it smart. Go trap. Six seconds. Five seconds. One. Can, what can Val do? Nothing. Yeah, him being able to zone is just good awareness of how to place his uh, projectiles in as well. Knowing that he can only throw them a certain range as well, you know. Does not want to be a plus against Sindel. Very zoning heavy matchup. Both characters with quite a decent low projectile, I would say. We have the Trap on Rambles and we have the low star streamer. And while Sindel is doing that animation, she literally low profiles everything. Oh, yeah. I think Cassie's projectile doesn't get low profile because it's like literally a mid low, right? Uh, but most things in this game get low profile by that. I think she can even go under ice, ice ball. Just tough to do so. Both trying to get that pole connected so they can gel something into it. Very calculated game plan from both ends. There's the stream in neutral. Rotha luckily didn't press. Back throw. A two oh. attempt. Gets hit out of it. Second hit came out too quick. More joining. Yes. Finish. Oh. Well, and Rotha takes him. it. One, oh, wait, is it going to be a game on Fatal? No, it is not. I think Rotha has thought about it for not. a split second. That's me in the chat. Thank you so much for the resubscription, my friend. That's a cool outro. I cannot believe that we are hosting this, but it, at the same time, it, it is such a weird feeling attached to it, you know, booting up that game again when I saw the menu today for the first time after so many months made me a little bit happy, I have to say. Rotha needs two more, and then we have that secured spot in Grand Finals, but we know that Val is not going to make it easy. Good awareness, good jump. Yes, Val has the reaction time for it. Go back into this goading here. I mean, Rotha loves his playstyle. He, like, he likes doing these things because, like, not many characters can zone like Rambo does, but it's also not the most completely no answer type thing you know you could just traditionally walk forward the og way but val wants to find ways besides that Kani Mani in the chat is saying i can't wait to go back to mk1 and not be afraid of this zarnit <laughs> this boy is roasting him that's what i'm saying the zarnit in this game is so scary man this zero is not you cannot play around this zero in this game is so crazy his Shang Tsung is also really good too, but the oh, moment he went to, to sub, life well, is pressing like there's no tomorrow and got the round because of it. Round two. Yeah, Sindel's pokes Fight. in this game are actually pretty good as well. Down forward, a down three. Oh, that block, is, that, 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 that move needs to just be the end. That overhead. Oh. Super zoning heavy matchup, and look at this range. Scream KB, full screen. That's what I'm saying, man. Gretchen blows have such high priority, and they become active literally on the first frame of impact. Like, it's just, it, uh, beautiful, it's beautiful. I like how many people in this. Oh, that is a punish on the roll, KB. Another one. Wait, Rotha, he not finished yet. Val tried to wake up that? Fatal, but Don't that didn't push. work out at all. Rotha brought it back. Beautiful. We are yet to see a successful wake up violence blow. I haven't seen one yet. Wake up Fatal Blow.
Mr. Flawless Block, Roth fight it. He parried it. <laughs> Plus, it's a low grab. Oh no, he's so locked in now. You had the job. There's the reset. It's over. <laughs> it's over, Fabs. That's what he just said. No way, stop. Yeah, We're yeah. We're good. Jolt in the chat. Crushing that goal all on his own. Fabs, I cannot believe that I'm saying this, but we have a 100 euro prize pool for this MK11 event. Announced it today. Insane signups. And actually some decent money on the line for these guys playing. Thank you guys so much. Let's be honest, Fabs. 100 bucks for playing MK11 for one hour? That, that is not too shabby. Honestly, for playing MK11 in 2024, <laughs> <laughs> making money at all is, is good. It's <laughs> good. right. Even if it was one set, you're still living good, you know? You're still in good position. Another great thing I see in the chat is Linlock saying, This is my first time watching MK11. The pacing is so different. That is a very, very good point, Linlock. Yes. Oh, anybody talk about pacing? Well, welcome to uh, <laughs> El Farcabal. Chat uh, is back. Oh, slight gas, slight gas, slight gas. Round one. All right. Slight gas. <laughs> Roth is immediately begging. He is pissed. <laughs> Like, why did you just me? Oh, this game was something else. Oh, he wins the air to air. Nice. But I like the way Roth is playing the spacing game versus all this jump in pressure from Val. Tries to stay outside that jump in range, even though that's easier said than done. Ooh, that projectile, but air, air bust out is so good. If you try to anti-air, uh, something he would do, air bust out with Cliffy because it's like you can't react to both at the same time, right? That was crazy. Both us oh, getting shimmied over and over again. That, that is also safe on EX, jeez. Oh, and this time Val is the one getting shimmy. Now he has to guess what is it going to be. Throw KB loaded. And Rotha decided to expect the throw. Round two. Come on, one of the few guys in this game that can like launch you without any meter, with no dash, which is... In this game, like launching with no meter, this game was pretty, pretty cool. Off of any string as well. Like, sounds pretty crazy to me, but I mean to you guys, but it's just how this game was. The chat is saying we need uplock mechanic against Kabal and MK11. Imagine. Oh, that's what I'm saying. Things that are missing from this game are in MK1, and things that are missing from MK1 are in MK11, which is pretty crazy. No, Lady Elmo, I said it. Not many characters in this game have needless launcher. Kabal is one of the few. Ooh. Interactable, good flawless block from Rotha. Tries to get his turn back. The problem is, whenever Cabal starts jumping, every single jump in is plus, even on block. So it is <laughs> never your turn, basically. That's the big problem with this character. Ooh. Oh, that move is good. That move is really good. <gasps> to do, and Ooh. that is good, Fabs. Yes, if you're up in the air, any projectile you throw will trigger. I mean, will uh, come slower than the armor in the Fatal Blow. So that was good. Wait, not dead yet. Oh, he waited so... He waited. Was it saying, what's the point in playing this? Any money? Yes, 100 euro. Oh, he's playing that stand so often, so well. He got punishes. Too slow. Wait, why is he not going for more? You trying to like make it unbreakable? Maybe. Maybe. Oh yes. 
Cabal crouches when he recovers from the air bus saw. So sometimes he just low profiles of one of like some of your moves, which is just insane. How can Rotha oh. bring this back? I I'm not sure if there is even a possibility to do this. I mean, projectile by projectile, you know? We need like a near bus saw from Val. There we go, yeah. That's what I need to do. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, stop. Available, available. <gasps> that, is, that is good! That, that, I, I don't know what to say anymore. Rotha is teabagging the shit out of Val here, and this is gonna be a fatal. This is not gonna be a friendship. He's so good. Rotha's different. Val just getting hit him. That is absolutely insane, Fabs. I didn't expect that. Perfectly spaced from Rotha under this jump in. And then being aware that he had that loaded. <laughs> the Rambo tea bags. Chat, Rotha made it to the grand finals in this bracket. Cat Daddy, thank you so much for the five gifted subs to the community. Perhaps only two remaining sets in this bracket. And coming up next, wow. we have Desarded versus Kani Mani. So Kani is saying, you know what, let me go top tier real quick. Even though both of these characters are top tier, of course. Do you remember the need mattress variation when he said he's gonna use the money to buy the mattress from the arena? <laughs> yes. He still has it, I saw it, he still has it. <laughs> that is true, back then with the grand final winnings, they started brought a new mattress <laughs> for his bathroom. <laughs> this variation there was a need mattress, bro. Oh, man, he was actually playing. He was gaming, he was gaming. Hope you got that mattress, bro, back in the day. All right, let's see why pretty much why I hate MK11. No <laughs> two characters. This is the meta matchup. That is basically Raiden Kano in MK11. Uh, this is basically Raiden, Raiden Kano versus Johnny Lau. <laughs> Just the MK11 version of it. Oh, Ooh, yes, yes. Jackie whipping her throws. I'd like to see that. There we go. Forward one. I mean, forward one and forward three. Jackie's buttons that literally cause the most Everyone hated that. It was just crazy. Loose Ford 4 was also really hated on but Jackie's mid though. But Kani Money firing on all cylinders. Look at this pressure. Jackie Briggs pressing buttons, leaping left and right. Four to win the dream, but the goop on the floor is going to make the difference. Oh man, this game, this game, this game. Round two, fight. Empty jump. Oh, that was cheeky. So close above the ground, he decided to cancel that. Ooh, the back to anti act. I smell it. Down one anti air. You spoke about it earlier, Fabs. Those low posts used okay. as an anti air. Good stuff from Kani. Good air to air from this started. Another down one. Try to pick it up. This game had really Im impressing neutral tools. It's just that, like, the, the, the flashiness of this game was just not there. Oh, that's so optimal. The 3 3 punish into down two. Oh, he put scoop. Oh. No. Wait. I, I thought Kani Mani is going for a game one fatal. Maybe he just forgot about the, the inputs for it. Kani Mani in the lead. 1 0 up. They started feeling the pressure. They started got his, his, his move blocked and then punished by 3 3 and decided types in chat. Ah, good times. <laughs> what? Kani Mani saying this is so nostalgic. Yes, I. I I agree with you, Kani. And at the same time, this is just how it all started here in the arena. It was the first game we had on this channel very, very early on. And uh, yeah, the rest is history. So thank you guys so much for 
making all this happen in the first place and for even tuning in here today. I know a lot of people don't like MK11 for, you know, obvious reasons. I can understand both sides. But that we are close to 500 viewers right now, Fabs, and we are able to boot up this game and even crush the MK1 category at the same time. I don't know if I'm supposed to laugh or if I'm supposed to, to cry. Creeping eyes, good old creeping eyes. MK11 got the champions. The young champions talking like it's 1921, yes. <laughs> Is it, oh my god. Back in the day, in the back in the day is like 2022, bro. Like, that's not back in the day, that's two years ago. Holy, thank you so much for the gift itself. That's um, that's unbreakable. Oh, try to reset. I try to reset him. Cheeky. The Matrix Junior reset. Was it you ability? Oh, know. Ooh. that is just good from Connie. Her being able to do one, one, two into fatal is disgusting. It's disgusting. The auto shimmy into fatal, man. Not many characters have it. Super quick air to air once again from Kani. That's the big advantage Jackie has. Those jump OSs, you know. Oh, yeah. Covering yeah, a lot yeah. of options at the same time. I got a book about Jackie's advantages in neutral. I could. I, I would never run out of pages. It's too good. Ooh, Shimmy, there it is. There That's there. what Kani Mani was looking forward for. Disarded tried to guess right on the strike throw. But Kanimani speedrunning this so far. Match point. Is he gonna meet Rofa in grand finals? How minus for Jackie staggers in this game? Minus two, minus three? I think I minus two, yes. one and her four, three. Oh man. 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 Scorpion, Sub-Zero, right. saying, was Johnny not a top tier character in this game? No, I don't think so. I don't think that Johnny was was top three. I think Johnny no, was, he was top a, ten first. Uh, there was a patch where Johnny was like top five. Yeah, yeah, in the early days. Yeah, that, that is right. When you had that plus six, you know. <laughs> the good old plus six. The good old, uh, his down four was also like God. But then they, 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 they patched pokes, they fixed some plus frames here and then. Johnny just kind of fell through. His fireball also got nerfed. But then this game had like really crazy meta shifts. Like to think that Cassie was top three at one point, Aaron Black was top three at one point, Johnny was top three at one point, you know? Jackie was top three in multiple points, you know? Like crazy, crazy. That's Fujin as well, like. The game had a, it was three years, two years of good stuff because then the game got support cut. So. Oh, the 4 2 fatal. Not fatal, but it's a question blow. Oh, he dropped it? Yeah, this I'm it. Still. Doesn't have those anymore, apparently, oh, but still with the sweep, able to close out the round. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. You can be the youngest god ever in this game, but 4 2 will still clap you. And yeah, it's Did it on Kanimani with that overcommitment has to pay for it. No breaker available. I remember when back four two the dash punch from uh, Jackie was safe minus seven at one point. <laughs> Demi boy at the chat with the first time message. He can't believe that this is live. <laughs> <That's> live. <laughs> yes, it is. It is live. Yes, we are live. I'm taking live gameplay as well. Throw once again, push him into the corner, and now it is Mix City, baby. But Kani, wake up down one. We spoke about the wake up options earlier in MK11. Good up block. Uh, up block, flawless block. Yeah. 
Ich bin der So hard for uh, counting your money. Take a third. All the goop in the world. No, no. Triple goop in the press, 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 press. Keep pressing. Money money is that's... dropping this man in front of everyone. No pain, no gain. Final round. Fight. More throws incoming, but Kanimani on match point. Oh, that was a good read from the start. Jump in, backdash, back three with punish, and KB. Goop. Customs really changed everything. But the funny part is, uh, Jackie was really good before Customs, and she got nerfed. All of a sudden, Customs drops, and, well, upgraded Jackie. B3 Jack. Good old. Another neutral jump from the Sardet, guessing right a lot of times, in a very decent position to arrive on the scoreboard for the first time in this match. Try to anti-air, wrong timing. Oh, <gasps> Mr. Oh, Punish! Yeah, try it. Oh, that is good standing four slide from the Sardet. Wait a minute. We have a game in our hands, fellas. Sub-Zero wins. Only one remaining set after this, by the way. Rotha waiting in grand finals of this top 8 tournament. And he is gonna meet the Sardid or Kanimani, potentially with Rambo. Scorpion. Sub-Zero. Jackie Briggs. Who will take the Rosie throwback tournament? And Asta, we'll take it. thank you so much for the gifted subscription. I cannot believe that you guys are even going crazy when we're hosting an MK11 tournament again. Thank you so much, everyone. <laughs> I realize this game, the, the, the matches take longer in this game, though, for sure. They do, yes. I mean, we, we live for close to two hours, one hour and 40 minutes. Definitely a little yeah. bit longer than in, in MK1. The MK1 top eights that we generally run are like 90 minutes. You know, five, six sets of MK1 are... Around 90 minutes for sure. And that's with a, a really bad invite system on PC as well. So. <laughs> no rooms as well. And privacy issues. Oh, whatever. Anyways, boom. Boom. Sure you can. Sure. Ooh. 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 Yeah. Four shoots for days. No pain, no gain. It's like that. Money, money on match point. On grand final point. Round do you think Rotha is scared, Fabs? Probably. He needs to be. If we're really gonna see Jackie versus Rambo in Grand Finals, that's like the two opposite sides of the tier list, you know? Except the bottom tier in this game is actually, like, really, like, doable to win with, you know? <laughs> Rotha saying like, this is a 9-1 matchup, <laughs> oh, okay. but to start it, he has Rotha... something to say as well. Rotha's been downplaying since day zero, and we somehow see him in every single top three, top five, top five. I don't know what's going on here. Sport. Something is not something in you. Oh, more. Four throw. Let's throw Oki. Delay wake up. And he beats the four to attempt. Oh, good. Is he going to goop? Down two. Staggers. Oh, they started again holding up in neutral. Trying to get that big opening out of it. The flawless block. But Kani, that nine frame mid. Goop. The solid has to be careful. Super careful. Try to. Oh. Up the <laughs> <laughs> nothing he was doing worked. Overhead and nope. Connie, no, nothing. 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 Money. He is back. Well, we started, I hope pleasure. you had fun. Fabs, this is literal madness. We are watching here. We have our two grand finalists in the pipeline. Kani Mani is gonna meet Rotha. 100 euro money match in MK11. Oh yeah, literally. We are playing for money in Mortal Kombat 11.
<laughs> but yeah, I hope this artist, I think this artist is one of the people that love MK11 the most. So I'm glad you had fun, my brother. I hope you had fun. You deserve to, to enjoy this game every time you can, really. You can tell, like, he really loved this game. He was playing Shang Tsung V3, like, out of love and passion. Goes to Sub-Zero and still cooking people. So good to see this artist back, you know. Hopefully, hopefully we have a chance to make something happen again. <laughs> We have a chance to make that happen. Let's take a look Let's at that see. chat prediction, guys. Last match of the night. It's time for the grand final. Rautha versus Kanimani. Is it really going to be that matchup? Rambo versus Jackie Briggs? Probably, yeah. I don't see, like, who, who would Rotha play? And Rotha, by his words, says it's a, it's a really bad matchup for Rambo. So, unless Kanimani has an even better bad matchup for Rambo. Let's see. Fifty-five. It is close. Changing as we speak. A lot of channel points being spent. Demi Boy saying, "I see Kani Mani winning this. We're gonna see right now. Kani Mani is in the lobby. Rotha is about to join as well. Good luck to both of them. Grand finals time." And thank you guys so much for all the support throughout the last three years. Fabs, we are doing these tournaments for a long time. I know, right? This is literally the game that, you know, made the arena the pillars yes. of the arena. Yes, so as right. much as our you don't origin like this story, game, whatever, so to say. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This game was way more than just MK11. This was the pillars of the arena. Yes, it so. was. So, chat, can we get some AOs? MK11 Grand Finals in 2024. Money match between Rotha and Kanimani. Top one payout only. Sub -Zero. And Kanimani is saying, you know what? Let me mix you real quick. Ain't no way he's going to give him the Sub-Zero. This is Rotha or Hay play against Sub-Zero? Wait, can, can Rambo challenge the air axe from... I, I'm, the thing is, the thing with Rambo is, he sometimes he has no options against certain things. So, I want to see what's going to happen here. He just has no options against certain moves. He does have really strong options, but he just lacks so much. <laughs> there we go, air axe. Oh, this is going to be so funny. And also, air axe is barely minus. Good oh, good minus from Rofa in the last second. Matchup nice, knowledge, yeah, frames. that is six not frames. real. Six frame pass, you mentioned it. Hammer and draggable to make space as well. It's really good. It's useful for strings. Oh, right through my uh, up block. I mean, the fast block up to that big boot from C02. And right, right now, Rotha with the life lead. Throw good tech from Kanimani. Very good defense. Everybody delays wake up on this game. I just realized, like, so after grabs too. Like everyone delay wake up after grabs in this game. Oh, wait. Down one back dash. Reset. Forward oh, oh. two. GG's well played. See you later, baby. Oh, rip. We're really back, aren't we? We are back first. Poke back dash into reset into four two fatal. That's Mortal Kombat 11, baby. Mortal Kombat 11. Broken that. Oh, you went for the parry. It didn't happen. Wow. Unlucky for Rotor. Rather got a little shaken. I'm having Vietnam flashbacks for that fatal. <laughs> and Kanimani getting more and more comfortable in this matchup. We see him stealing more and more turns, abusing that six frame down one. Ooh. And one thing we honestly see are the, you know, limited options Rambo has in this matchup. Yes, I, I mentioned a few, you know, did, did, as a character, Rambo lacks a lot of things. The Double West! That's keeping me alive, right? That's just gonna kill. Unless my MK1 brain has been, you know, hurt. It's not gonna go with the replay? Not yet. Ooh! 
That's and punish. Flawless yeah. block punish. Kani Mani. Insane situational awareness. Sub Zero wins. Wow, 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 wow. I don't expect any character switch from Rotha tonight. Cyber Lin Kuei Assembly. Interesting point from Brownie in the chat saying, uh, these characters feel much more MK than MK1 variants. It is just a completely different art style, you know? I, I gotta say, yeah. I like the MK11 art style. I like it more as well. Yes, I, I like it more than, than the MK, uh, MK1 version of it. Looks just a little bit more mature, you know? The entire yeah. lightning... It has its pros, you know? It looks darker. You know, a little bit more evil, so to say. <laughs> I get that, I get that. Perfect Are example safe? is Raiden. MK1 Raiden and MK11 Raiden. MK11 Raid looks so badass in MK1. Yeah. MK1 looks way too friendly to be doing all that evil stuff on you. MK1 <laughs> is smiling and stuff and doing loops of combo. This MK11 Raiden is actually pretty evil looking, but not as scary though. Rotha looking for whiff punish. I'm very, very surprised how good Kanimani still is in this matchup, knowing all the gaps, and that's the reason why he picks up Zero as well. Round two, fight. Plus frames. Rotha tried to uplock. Uh, that was actually, yeah. <laughs> Plus block up three, yeah. Oh, we're gonna get we're gonna mixed by that the whole time. You see, Phelps, uh, I'm getting too old for it. <laughs> oh, we had that loaded from before. I, sometimes I, I don't even realize he has it. That down four into mix. Oh man, he just got mixed three times in a row. Katie okay, saying it's uncanny because it's a completely different. Yeah, I know, but 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 I think we can still have an opinion. Just saying, you know, that we like one specific art style more than the other. Is this gonna kill? No, one. Oh, he did. <laughs> of course, perhaps. Did you forget about that sub damage, bro? Uh. That would be like 38 or something. That's 42%. Wow. Sub Zero wins. Connie Money on tournament point. 2 0 Rotha. Is he going to get swept in grand finals? We started with eight players. Okay, nine players to be exact because Tigris and I teamed up in this. And now we're down to the last two. Kani Mani on match point and Rotha is going for the character switch. Raiden. Retro King. Oh. Teleport, punish, storm cell. Quite a different storm cell this time oh. than the one we are used to. You get the completely retired Raiden. Movie Raiden. Well. Nice skin. The classic skins. I remember when they dropped. Ooh! Trying to take the turn. He's got launch, baby. Up to. Should have kissed it. Oh, was so good. oh yeah, the electric fly cancel in this game was so good. Not good enough though. Rotor, is he about to sweep? Round two. Fight. Is 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 kind of money about a sweep, Rotor? Th that's what it looks like right now. Good block on that slide attempt. 
Uh, R Rotha dropping the Optimal tried it. I don't even know the last time he played Raiden. Because that, that Optimal was tight as hell, but I can't lie to you. Ooh, the KB on the punish. It's good. Double TPs. Mix him up, mix him up, make him think. Oh, never mind. Never mind. You get knocked down by Sub Zero. Oh. Corner time. Mix. Oh, can't he go for the reset? That was so Dead. dirty. Rotha had two bars, but it didn't <laughs> even matter. t on top. Kani oh, Mali, he is our champion today, winning our MK11 throwback tourney. GG's. Well, someone made money playing MK11. <laughs> this is that is a shocker. Wow. This is insane. Kani Mani, congratulations. And a big shout out to every single player who threw himself out there tonight and decided to sign up for this bracket. You guys are amazing. And of course, this community is amazing as well. You guys decided to spend some time with us. Super curious about the YouTube comments as well, Fabs. I gotta say that. Let us know in the comments. Was MK11 that bad and why? Let us know. <laughs> We're gonna be back very, very soon because our PC MK1 finals are right around the corner. Gonna be mm -hmm. super, super insane. Top 32 starting tomorrow. And then you know it. We're gonna crown our second champion here in season three. Until then, Febs and I, we're out. I'm going to catch you all tomorrow. Stay safe. Bye-bye. And thank you so much for spending time with us today. Take care. Peace out, guys. Good night.